Hey, Jay. Dak Shepard, how you doing, my friend? What are you up to here? Well, I'm doing something to do a lot of car shows. I'm standing with a tool and a rag, so okay. it looks like I'm actually working on the car, but really, I'm just waiting for you to come in on cue. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. You look great at it. Well, thank you. Dak Shepard is an actor, writer, and director. He shot to fame on NBC's hit show Parenthood. Most recently, he wrote, directed, and starred in the remake of Chips. He's also a real gearhead. And you might be familiar with his talented wife, the one the only Kristen Bell. Based on the Bell tattoo on his hand, I'm gonna say he takes this whole marriage thing pretty seriously. Well, this is my Roadmaster, which... Oh, I'm familiar with this. Yeah. I've long loved this car, and I gotta say that you got a lot of power. You know my connection to my Roadmaster. What, what, what is your connection? So I worked for General Motors for 14 years. It's what my family did, right? And oh, we okay. delivered press vehicles around the city in Detroit. So we managed a fleet of about 250 cars. Wow. And I was 18 years old. We could pick any car we wanted from the shop to go run chase with. So we'd go drop off a new Corvette, and then we had to come back to the shop. There'd be two guys. And these were inordinately fast. We all would fight over these cars. <laughs> because there's nothing funnier to an 18-year-old than getting sideways in a big, huge station wagon. So when my wife got pregnant four years ago, immediately I was like, I have to get a B-body station wagon between 94 and 96. Because if would... I'm going to be a dad, yeah. I don't want to be in a minivan. I want to be in something I can drift. Or right. Eat. Well, I would have thought you would have needed this to get her pregnant. We have made love in the back of this car, Jay, between you and I. Not between, uh, wait, not between you and I. Let's clear that <laughs> no, no, no. up. Yet, yet. That, yet, yeah, yes. but again, the That's... Roadmaster, anything could happen. That's right, sky's the limit in a Roadmaster. Well, this is a 94 view of Roadmaster. It was just about the end of the run, isn't it? When did Roadmaster 96. finally? 96. 94 through 96 got the LT1 engine, which was the detuned VET engine that sure. came out in 92. They also had posi traction, rear end, stainless steel dual exhaust. They're just a hot rod station wagon, and again, Drifting across four lanes of traffic sideways is a unique joy. In the 1990s, Buick returned to its historic Roadmaster brand with the Roadmaster Estate. I love that name. It came standard with a 5.7 liter engine and it's rated to tow up to 5,000 pounds. Now yours is not stock, is it? This is not stock. We put big six piston calipers and huge rotors on it, which then caused me to have to get bigger wheels. Right. And then I thought it needs more power and so just this month, this got a motor swap. Dax has replaced his Roadmaster stock V8 with a 6.2 liter supercharged Chevrolet Performance LSA engine capable of over 550 horsepower. If that's not a challenge to race, I don't know what is. Did you swap this engine in with the idea of racing me? When I found out I was going to be on your program. Right, so you quickly did an engine I swap. I did put the gas on the install. Can we go for a ride? I, I would see, love I, to I give you a ride. I see what I'm up against. I like how the hood drops off. I mean, it looks like a small car when you're inside here. It's a little bit dainty, isn't it? All right, here's a dumb question. Yeah. I mean, you put a big motor in it. It's a hot rod. It's fun. Have you ever used this car for its intended purpose? Load it up with groceries and camping gear and take the family on a vacation? Have you done that with it? Yes. When my first daughter was a year old, we drove from LA to Oregon. We had uh, two dogs in the car, baby. We had the gigantic cargo container on the luggage rack. It was definitely my uh, Clark Griswold fantasies yeah. come true. Now, you came to Tonight's Show years ago with the Lincoln. I love that car. To me, that car is what your Roadmaster is like. I went to college and graduated. We got into show business, and I met my wife and had kids. Like, uh, oh. you know, the moment, the highlight for me in this Chips experience was they put a huge billboard on Sunset, and I parked the Lincoln in front of the billboard, and it it was emotional for me because I moved to LA in that car and yeah. I cruised Sunset and it all seemed so unobtainable. And the notion that I had a billboard there on Sunset for a movie I wrote and directed was very amazing and to be in the same car was really amazing. So shall we feel what, what this 6.2 yeah. liter does? Wow, pulls on yeah. yeah. 
But, you know, that's not really fair, because before you come over to race me, you're dropping a supercharged Corvette engine. You know, my car's had the same tires on for the last 20 years. OK, but to act as if your car is some stock sad old well, 55 Buick is a little bit close. of an overstatement. It's very close. You have close. the best big block crate motor made well, with amazing suspension. What gearbox? Has it got a 400 in it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? So you've got everything. All you don't have is tires. Let's go to the drag strip. Let's settle this once Th There's all. only one way to sort this out. The numbers won't lie. Numbers right. won't lie. All right, time to settle the big Roadmaster beef. Best of three runs on an eighth mile drag. May the best Buick win. Now by that, of course, I mean mine. Leno! You may have been the king of late night, but I'm the king of blacktop! Old age and treachery beats youth and enthusiasm every day. <laughs> Don't get distracted by my tail lights. They're a little bright. Yeah, yeah. In race one, Dax does the track in a strong 8.8 seconds. Meanwhile, I'm disqualified for crossing the yellow line. I told you these tires are old. Can't get any traction, these tires are- I, I saw that. I looked in my rear view mirror and I saw your bumper. Yeah, yeah, I know, <laughs> I know. Hey, when you do your rollover, are you gonna go left or right? I'm gonna roll right over you, actually. <laughs> race. Dax stops the clock at 9.56, but I topped him at a 9.52. And with that, we're tied. One more French fry for lunch, and I could have lost that one. One to one, yeah. Tiebreaker. Coming up, Dax and I battle for the title of Road Master. <laughs> Dax and I are tied one to one in our historic Roadmaster showdown. What I lack in horsepower, I make up with with razor quick reflexes. <laughs> yeah, 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 tell me about it. <laughs> Time to pull out all the stops, whatever that means. Dax improves from round two, but I take the race and the day. The keys to happiness can be many things. Got you that time. <laughs> but right now, it's crushing a friend and pummeling him into dust. Well, yeah. I had a great run. You had two great runs. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And I, it's a great day for Roadmasters. That's though. right. I think yeah. we proved that you, you know, you got your Italian exotics and your yeah. Corvettes, your Mustangs. Who needs that? That's right. Oh my God. What's the matter? I, ha I left the baby in the car. My wife's going to kill me. Oh, man. Let's get yeah, out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's OK, honey. We're, we're going home. She had a helmet on, though. Don't worry. She had a helmet. She had a helmet. Hey, CNBC fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you'll find videos from all your favorite CNBC shows. Be sure to subscribe by clicking right here. Click on the videos around me and watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.